Hey there, everybody. Welcome to our Grey's Anatomy Season 17, Episode 5 review. And I let's just get it out of the way. Like, this... This is not an easy episode. This is it's certainly not the episode I thought we were going to get going into this. This is just not an easy season all around, especially for anyone out there that has been dealing with the health crisis on a very personal level. It was very difficult. This whole season has been quite difficult. I had a really hard time getting through the premiere. I had to take it in pieces. Tonight's episode, equally as difficult. This one was really, really tough. And, I, I mean, we, Chandra Wilson is incredible in the entire hour. And I do want to say that right away. I mean, she is always, always great when she gets these spotlights. But this, it's not easy. We'll talk about in this video, you know, if Grey's Anatomy needs to consider getting out of the pandemic storylines before too long, the balance of all of it. But, you know, I don't want to take away from what we saw because what we saw was so, so powerful. Yeah, it was. And as we get into this, if you guys do enjoy this discussion, subscribe to the <laughs> channel and, you know, keep coming back because Grey's Anatomy, it's not going anywhere, though I know the winter finale is next week, but it will be back <laughs> after the fact. We still are going to be here talking about it. Yeah. So I hope you guys will bear with me a little bit through this because this episode really hit close to home for me through the pandemic. My grandmother also had Alzheimer's and she didn't pass away from the virus, but there was a lot of similarities going on in this episode as well, where, you know, Bailey's mother or father couldn't, couldn't come and see her mother and was kept away because of what was going on. And a lot of that happened to me as well. My, uh, grandmother was in a nursing home and then the pandemic hit and then no one was able to go see her anymore and she couldn't it was the same sort of situation she couldn't really remember us but she knew that she was loved it was the exact same feeling that was on the show pandemic came in we can't go in anymore then all of a sudden it's sort of this feeling of like she doesn't know what's going on anymore. Everybody's just kind of abandoned her and she stopped eating and stopped drinking and stopped talking and she died. And it was, it really hit close to home with this episode. This episode was tough. Tough enough that we actually almost didn't come on and do a video because I was afraid I was gonna be crying through it with you guys, but I pulled myself together. It, it's, I think the thing about an episode like this is I'm sure it was written a lot because there are a lot of people out there who have probably had maybe not an experience as close to what, you know, you've went through, but what they've had experiences of their own that have been tough and difficult where people and lives and deaths have been impacted by this yeah. pandemic. I think the one of the things that this show touched on really well tonight is not just the people that are affected with the virus, but sort of what happens to people around them and that you are sort of having to be kept away. We saw the mother kept away from her child, you know, Billy's mother's kept away from her love. Like it is very, that part of it is very difficult. And a lot of people don't see that part in life it's more about who is going through actually having the virus but the people on the other side that are kept away it is it is very difficult as well it's a very it there's almost a time capsule feel to this and what i kind of mean by that is i think for for us right now watching this it's very very difficult because we don't have a zoomed out approach to anything you know you have such a personal connection to the stories i'm sure a lot of you out there probably know someone who has gone through something because of what we're in as well and i think it's because of all that it's so difficult to watch something like this and to see so much of it this season because you know you look for tv often from an, as an escape now Years down the road, these episodes, they might come across as easier for at least some people where the memories aren't so recent. But last week, we talked a lot about how we sort of felt like Grace was doing at least a little better job than the premiere because there was a better sense of balance and you were getting some of the lighter moments mixed in. This episode was challenging because I feel like 
I mean, those lighter moments tonally probably couldn't be there, but it was hard to just deal with the sadness upon the sadness topped with more sadness. Beautifully written, though. I mean, that conversation with Bailey and Maggie was incredible. Beautiful performances by both of them. Also, I don't know if they're selling those gray Sloan hoodies, but man, they looked really comfy. (laughs) I did this, clearly, I, I don't know if I was, like, not in the hoodie, sort of, like, maybe it was because I was wearing a hoodie and I wasn't cold, but... They looked so soft. I was like, man, this is a really difficult conversation, but, man, those hoodies looked really soft. <laughs> that, you know, I love it when greys, and they do this every now and then, they, I, I, I just, I love this expression, I know I've used it before, let the chefs cook, where you just give people time, and... You don't need a lot of special effects. You don't need a lot of just extras in the room or anything. Just put Chandra Wilson over here. Put Kelly McCreary over here. Here's the script. Just go at it. And yeah, they they killed that scene. And I love that they didn't cut it down. Like they gave it time to just really breathe. It was incredible. Really the best part of the episode. I mean, I loved everything about it. That conversation was so raw and so real and just very genuine feeling I, I loved it their performances are great the writing was great it was so good i think the most important takeaway message wise from this episode and i and i am glad as difficult as this was to get through that grace really hit this home is that black americans are suffering at a disproportionate rate because of the virus and it's something that is not getting enough care it's not getting enough attention publicly yep. and I appreciate that they really just went in and took this unabashed look at it and made it so personal to Bailey because we don't we don't really always get a lot of sort of Bailey backstory and hear a lot about her childhood or other parts of it other than just a couple moments here and there. Yeah, it's true. But we really get it and Bailey is just so freaking strong as a character too that she doesn't open up all that much. No, she doesn't. And that is another reason why that scene with Maggie really was as good as it was because she is someone who always puts up a strong front she's there to sort of hold the world on her shoulders for everybody else so to have sort of more of these raw moments with her they're like a unicorn you don't get them that often but when you get them they're just gorgeous like we said at the start i didn't i i expected something different going into this episode but i was going onto twitter and it was like one minute after the episode, and I saw that Chandra was live tweeting, and she doesn't have social media, and she was doing it on the Grey's account. I was like, oh, okay, so this is going to be a really (laughs) big Chandra Wilson episode, and we all just had no idea going into it. Yeah, I mean, originally we said last week, or that we thought, that Tom was not going to make it through this, because with everything that's going on with the virus, this show has taken a deep dive, and I absolutely felt like somebody was going to die that was an extremely important yeah. character to the show. Tom's story had been kind of wrapped up with everything that was going on with Teddy and Owen. Things had passed. There was nothing that was really going on for him. And then he got hit with the virus and then it got bad for him. And I was like, oh no, here we go, Tom. This is it for Tom. But this doesn't look like this is it for Tom. I I really thought that's where they were going with this. The show is not afraid to take those big swings, but they didn't take it here. Yeah, I, I, I was probably like, 75% going into this episode that we were going to lose Tom. It just for all the reasons that you spelled out last week, you know, we've talked a lot about it throughout the week. It just, it made so much sense that that was what they were going to do. I I didn't want them to do it because, you know, I I like Greg German as an actor a lot. And yeah, I haven't been the biggest fan of the Karasik pining after Teddy storyline of the past, you know, half season or whatever. But I I just felt like that was where they were going to go. And I guess he's not fully out of the woods, but they had him talking about a sponge bath and the promo was sort of showing the hospital being overrun. Tom wasn't the focus of it. So I kind of think he might be okay. I think he's out of it. Him coming out of it and talking to Teddy the way he is, he's back to sort of being a bit of his snappy self. I mean, (laughs) yeah, he's not out of the woods completely, but he's way better than he was. And it feels like, yeah, that, that that's where it is with that. We're not losing him. 
yeah, I don't, I, I don't think we are. And, you know, Meredith, we're obviously not going to lose Meredith. Yeah, it looked like from the promo, she's going to be snapping out of it herself. So maybe this trial is going to be working. And I, Knock on wood. <laughs> let's cross our fingers. We didn't have much Meredith in this episode, really, no. tonight. Like, we you know, Shonda, she paid a visit to the beach again. We got to see Miranda and Meredith there, which yeah. I did enjoy. It was kind of interesting hearing sort of why Bailey was keeping certain things from yeah. Meredith. I'm glad that we at least had something with her. But I think a, a question a lot of people are going to be wondering is... With this upcoming episode being the winter finale and with Meredith potentially sort of waking up and there being a big hiatus, is it possible that this episode coming is going to be sort of the end of them really taking on the virus as heavily as they are? For me personally, I hope that it is. And it's not that the show isn't doing a good job with what they're doing right now, they are doing an excellent job. Like the bar is high for what they have been giving us with performances, with writing, showing us how real it is, how raw it is. I'm just a bit exhausted personally from it. It is, you know, hitting really hard at home with a bunch of people. I'm sure I'm not the only one out there. It's just like, we're exhausted. We understand it. We've been in it in life. Now we're deep in it in the show. It feels like for me, it is time to kind of move back into some of the other stuff that I really enjoy about the show because the show is, is also about a bit of escapism where, you know, give me the surgeries, give me the banter, give me all the romance, give me all the drama with it. It's just so focused on this one thing that we're all living in real life every day. And it's a bit exhausting and I'm having a hard time. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm having a hard time getting through these episodes. It's tough. Yeah. I, I think they can find a way to sort of give everybody everything, like sort of show in March that maybe in the Grays world things are starting to get under control and maybe it hasn't gone away completely, but you're starting to shift over into some other things. And, you know, we'll, we'll shift over into some other things because there was some good news in this episode. Joe got to deliver a baby and it seems like She's just really, she's really into delivering babies now. Like, she found some joy and happiness here. Yeah, and she's thinking of making a huge switch in her career. And do I think she's actually going to go that way? I actually don't, but I'm actually kind of wondering if she's going to end up getting pregnant. That this is not that she's going to go necessarily looking for it. I'm not saying that's going to be Jackson's either. Oh, yeah. But just that maybe a baby storyline might be coming in for her that if you know maybe that's something that she would be interested in that's that's where i thought they were going for most of the episode especially when she wanted to stay there after the delivery for a moment i was like okay that's where we're heading and then yeah i was surprised when joe sort of was like oh you know i think i may actually want to have a career change because karina seems to be just like happy all the time and she's not dealing with what i'm having to deal with yeah for sure and i mean she's not really in a headspace to be having babies but this isn't the first time that she's been thinking about this I mean we saw a little bit of this last season as well I mean her mind is kind of starting to circle around babies but maybe this is where it's more going that she is going to be thinking about making a career switch I'm just not sure I'm not sure either, but I, I like that Grace is sort of looking at the idea of, okay, people don't really get locked into just one thing forever. Yeah. When you are a doctor, you maybe have some different interests and different stuff changing. And Joe is still very young. She has plenty of time to sort of figure out exactly what it is that she wants to do. Yep. But here's the truth, guys. You know, this, this was an episode so sort of like singularly focused on just, you know, one main storyline that, you know, unless... You want to hear us have a lengthy conversation about Schmidt trying to get Joe to wake up or like some other, like that's, that's mostly the meat of this. Yeah, it really is. This was Bailey's episode, a lot of heartbreak going on, great conversations, cozy sweatshirts. <laughs> that is, that is this episode. A tough but very beautiful episode. Yeah. Very difficult episode. Beautifully written. Beautifully acted. This was a great 
difficult episode. Uh, like that is the way of it. Where it's... please send me one of those sweatshirts. Okay. <laughs> That's what's fully we could all just have a big warm sweatshirt hug That's all after I want right now. After I just dealing want with this episode, a cup of tea, a little bit of cake, <laughs> and one of those cozy sweatshirts. Well, we we'll we'll sign off because we can off. We're gonna have at least a couple of those. We have some cake. We have some tea. Yep. We do not have a Grace Sloan Memorial Hospital sweatshirt, but you know what? No, but if anybody knows if they're selling them anywhere, <laughs> let me know because I will buy one. Someone's going to the ABC store after. Right? this but you know powerful episode kudos to Chandra just incredible performance but tell us what you guys thought of this the messages of this episode if you want to see Grace move on past the pandemic and if you did appreciate this discussion subscribe give us a like and support us further by checking those links to the store alongside our patreon and we'll see you here next time